All right, here we have a Lakewood HV18 from, I want to say, 93 or 94. Not exactly sure how old it is. I have to look at the motor stamps. But, yeah, um, this is actually one of my big childhood fans. My great, great, I guess it would just be my great grandma. She had one of these, and I remember it being used a lot in the summertime, in the springtime, in her house. I don't remember if she had air conditioning, honestly. Maybe, I believe she did, but, like, most of the time she used fans, and this was the one I remember the most. She used to use it in the, uh, the house was quite a big house, actually. But she had two bedrooms downstairs, and I think three or two upstairs. But the upstairs we never went into because I really don't know why. She never went up there, really. But there's all kinds of stuff up there. And the only time we ever went up there was to use the other bathroom that was up there. But downstairs, there was two bedrooms and a bathroom. And one of those bedrooms was converted into a playroom for all the grandkids. And in the summertime, this fan was either in that room or in the living room being used. Um, I used to mess with it quite often uh, and that house had a lot of other fans in it too. There was a couple ceiling fans. There was this one white spinner that I remember really well that was in the kitchen and she had one of those moon glow fans in the like living room area and then she had like an Incon Casanova Deluxe Hugger in her bedroom, and some generic air cool looking thing in the guest bedroom. Actually, there was three bedrooms downstairs. It was a big house. But anyway, this is one of the fans I remember from that, her house, and probably the one I remember the most fondly, other than the huggers, um, in the spinner in the kitchen. I remember that pretty well. But we're getting off track. This is a Lakewood A318. It's the only HV fan in my collection at this point. I sold off the other two or three that I had. Well, there was three in total. There was this one, and another HV18 that was black, and an HV20 that had the thermostat. I got rid of the other two because they weren't really that sentimental and to be honest I don't really collect HV fans that much unless it's something interesting or childhood and this is both and the fact I got this for 10 bucks at Goodwill still shocks me to this day this has got blue blades got the Lakewood badge there has a handle on it, which is nice. It is a three speed with a McMillan motor. My little HV18. Uh, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 2.2 amps. Dang. Manufactured by Lakewood Engineering Manufacturing, Chicago, Illinois, 60612. Somewhere on here is a date code stamp. I remember seeing it at some point. I think it's on the bottom. Yeah. August of 93. So this fan is a year older than I am. And there's the original price. I think that nine means it was nine ninety nine or whatever. The fact I got this for ten bucks still shocks me. I don't know how I managed to find one for that cheap. Because if anyone knows, these fans go for ridiculous amounts of money. Especially on eBay, but eBay is just a wild west of freaking fans. When it comes to freaking vintage fans, there's just 
overpriced stuff mostly on there but we'll start it up on high and this thing moves quite a bit of air I use this quite a bit at my old house because the house didn't have air conditioning and I'd use this in the hallway between the living room and the kitchen. Did a really good job. Go to medium. It does appear to be a little bit out of balance, but not much you can do about that. Medium is pretty crazy still. I mean, it's moving all kinds of stuff around in here. If you uh, look around. And we'll go to work. Been a long time since I've really ran this, so. Even on the low, it moves a lot of air. Go to high again. And OWF spells off. Now, yeah, this fan I believe has a McMillan motor that is ran off a capacitor, much like the Lakewood P25s from like 2007. There isn't really much of a startup sound on this, surprisingly, but I guess we'll take a look at the motor real quick, because there is a run capacitor up here, if you can even see it, it's right there, there's the motor itself, I'll start it up on low I guess. And there really isn't much of a startup sound. But this fan got used quite a bit at my old house. <laughs> Along with the few other fans. And this is going out of focus. Freaking focus. 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 There we go. Oh yeah, there you have it. The 1993 Lakewood HV18. Hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.